Hey there friends, since summer's on its way, let's get a decent tofu and lentil burger recipe on the go, shall we? Now I'm going to do two different recipes in this one video today. I'm going to do a basic tofu and lentil burger, but then I'm also going to show you how you can do a Thai spiced version and what ingredients you need to swap around. You will need tofu. Lentils, whether canned or when you want to cook them yourself, whatever. Breadcrumbs, I'm using gluten free today, but you can use regular ones. Onion, tomato puree, garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper. And for those of you that want to try the Thai spiced version, you will need some sriracha, some ginger paste, or you can use fresh ginger, it's entirely up to you. Spring onions pepper and a lime. Right, let's crack to this. So first things first everybody, you need to dry out your tofu. This can take a little while but you want to get out as much moisture as you can. Once you've done that, chop up your onion into nice small pieces and then chop and crush your garlic. You want to add your tofu, lentil, breadcrumbs, chopped veggies and garlic and tomato puree into a bowl with a little bit of salt and pepper and give that mixture a good mix about. Then put half the mixture into a food processor and blend, blend, blend until it resembles a paste. Then you can re-add that to the other half of your mixture and combine it again. So I'm going to split my mixture in two so I can show you how to do the Thai spiced version. You want to de-seed and chop up your pepper. And chop up your spring onions as well. Add that to your mixture along with your lime, ginger and sriracha. Give it a good mix. I'd recommend popping your mixture in the fridge for at least 20 minutes so it'll firm up. It'll make it easier to move around in the pan. And once it's done, it's time to fry. So arrange them into three inch patties and fry on a nice low heat. You want to keep them moving, you don't want them to burn and flip them over after about three or four minutes. Then dress up your burger and get ready to enjoy. For the meatballs, you use the exact same mixture for either of the burger recipes that we've had. Roll them into balls and fry them. Keep them moving so they brown evenly. Let's listen to that sizzle. Ooh, satisfying. Cook them for between five and seven minutes and you're done. Thanks for watching, guys.